Hello everyone, it's Jared from AcousticNature.com and welcome to another Behind the Sounds episode. This video is suggested from one of my subscribers who commented that they'd like to see a video about recording snow. So with the 12 inches of snow that we're getting today, I thought it was a great opportunity to make that video for that subscriber. So thanks very much for the comment. And if any of you have suggestions or sounds that you'd like to hear, let me know down in the comments. I'd be really curious and I'd love to make some videos for you. So we're gonna keep walking. I'm familiar with this spot. I've got a couple areas in mind that would be cool for recordings. So that's what we're going to do. So thanks for joining me. See you at some of the recording spots. So while I was on my way to one of my favorite spots here in the woods, I noticed that this tree right here is making some really amazing and frequent creaks. And I have my hand on the tree here. I can actually feel the vibrations from the creek. So I think this is a great opportunity to make our first recording. Okay, so after giving it a lot of thought, I decided not to use my D100. I instead set up the SAS. And because I packed light for this trip, I did not bring my full-size tripod. So I made a nature tripod out of an old pine, stuck my SAS in there right in front of the hole going into the tree, which is running down to my LS10 inside of this dry bag. So. While this is recording, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite spots. We're going to find some shelter and talk about recording snow. All right, everyone, we have reached one of my favorite spots here, sitting underneath the shelter of two hemlocks, whose evergreen foliage will keep most of the snow off of us. And it's just a really peaceful place to sit and talk about recording sounds in the winter. So I'd like to talk about three things about recording in the winter. First, I wanna just talk about the winter landscape itself. Next, we'll talk about the noise pollution. And lastly, we will talk about the gear that you may need to get out in the winter. So first of all, the winter landscape is unique in not only its sounds, but also its sights. With the deciduous trees void of their leaves, it's a really good time to get out and observe and appreciate the form of the trees. They're so beautiful to look at and just appreciate how unique they are and uh, it's really cool to look at the fractal branching patterns and just been visited by a bird under here, second bird so far. The first one was a cardinal. Um, so yeah, it's just a really good time to get out uh, and experience places that you're familiar with and see them in a new way. Now, along with the unique sights offered by the winter, the winter has its own unique set of sounds. The, the landscape is, is basically barren. There's a lot less animal activity. Things are hunkering down, conserving their energy. So things are just a lot quieter in the winter time. As a sound recordist, it's really nice to capture unique sounds. And like I said, so if you've, if you've been to places that you really enjoy recording at, go and check them out during the winter and listen how different they sound. The, uh, the second thing that I wanted to talk about was noise pollution, which in the winter is kind of a double-edged sword. It's quieter in a lot of respects with the animals, but also with people. People are out less uh, in general. Uh, they're just being warm in their homes. 
Uh, they don't want to drive in the unsafe conditions. So there's less noise pollution in the winter as well. So it can be a good opportunity to record sounds in places that are typically too loud at other times of year. On the flip side of that, especially during and right after snow events, you're going to have the plows on the road, which are very loud. And you'll also have people shoveling and snow blowing, which is actually going on in the background right now. You probably can't hear it, but there there's a snow blower going. Um, so that's something to just be aware of and prepared for. So don't get too disappointed if you run into some noise pollution, you can always try again. And the best way to avoid that is to get outside super early in the morning um, when people aren't snow blowing and <laughs> are sleeping in and being warm. Now, the last thing to talk about recording in the winter is your gear. Now, first and foremost, you definitely want to be comfortable. Uh, I have several layers on as well as a pair of snow pants. So you definitely want to be warm out in the winter. If you're uncomfortable, you're not going to enjoy it and you want to enjoy it. So make sure you're wearing extra layers and you're prepared. As far as electronics go, your batteries won't last as long in the winter. So if your field recorder supports it, it could be a good idea to invest in a portable power bank to uh, give yourself some extra juice so that you can record for longer. The last thing that I want to talk about recording sounds in the winter is recording the sound of snow. This is something that's very difficult to do because snow falling doesn't make sound. Uh, one of the ways that you can capture the sound of snow is that if there's any wind, you can capture the sound of the uh, wind blowing the snow around and it gives the wind this really nice sounding texture. And something else that I've done is I've actually put my SAS microphone where my face is inside this hood and the material that this jacket is made out of, uh, it actually, it makes this really soft sound with each snowflake hitting it and I have been able to successfully record that and it could be cool to experiment with other materials so you can either wrap your microphone up in a material you can put your microphone next to a material and just experiment and see what sounds the snow makes when it contacts different materials so just an idea there so I was actually just hiking back to the uh, drop rig here in the background and I was going to pack it up and head inside when the snowblower stopped. So instead, I'm going to grab the mic and hike up to the top of the ridge behind me. Up there. And uh, we're going to capture some of the really high winds here. So I'll meet you up at the top of that hill. Okay, we are up on that hill now and are very exposed to the wind, which is great. Got my staffs on this uh, woodpecker tree and the wire is running down into the LS10 in that dry bag. So somebody brought a chair all the way up here So I'm going to have a sit and listen in. All right, everybody, so I have been out enjoying the winter for almost four hours now, and I'm starting to get cold. So I'm just headed back to the wind drop rig at the top of the hill to collect it and head back home. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Sounds and the sounds themselves. If you have any questions, feedback, or comments, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below. I always read and respond to every single one. So thanks very much for your continued support. 
If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider supporting the channel with something as simple as a like or just subscribing. It goes a long way and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks very much. I will see you in the next one.